Okay, welcome back once again, everyone, to a video on overstock.com. I'm gonna show you how to source what you need to know uh, in order to find a product that you can then sell on Amazon. Okay, so you're gonna come to overstock.com and just like every other video, you're starting to get the theme here is you're gonna come to the search bar. You're gonna type in any kind of word that comes to the top of your mind. I'm gonna go ahead and type in table and you're gonna hit enter. Then it's gonna pull up a whole bunch of different results that then you can start cross-referencing on Amazon in order to determine a profit. Come through here and select any one of these. No real rhyme or reason, I'm just gonna select this mid-century uh, living Charles Espresso extended dining table by Tribeca home okay so if I wanted to search this out I just click on um, I would just come here to the item I would select the title I wouldn't select all of it because I we don't really care about the brand name or anything like that because sometimes on Amazon people change the brand name of the item even though it's the same exact item so I would just select the relevant term on the uh, in the title that describes the item. I'd come over here to Amazon. I'd uh, paste it right here in the search bar and I would hit enter. And then it's gonna pull up a bunch of different results and then I'm just basically gonna go through here and I'm gonna try to find the exact same item. Now I'm not finding it, so maybe I would choose then mid-century and see if I get better results for that. So I'd come back here paste it in the search bar, I'd hit enter. And as you can see, it's just really not showing up, okay? So it's definitely not an item that I'm gonna move forward on. Now, it, when you're on an item like this, a good thing to take note of is all the little items on this side right here. Uh, sometimes you can click on these and you know they're just giving you other recommendations of items that you can uh, purchase off of Overstock, but we can select one of these. Then we can go ahead and copy this, come over here to Amazon, paste it in the search bar hit enter and again it's not showing it up so maybe I would just uh, take away this brand name and then hit enter and see it's pulling me up uh, some different results but then I'm gonna come here and just take another look at the picture and see if we can't find the item that looks similar but it's a different color so basically you're just gonna come through and see if you can't find it Okay, so I'm not really finding it here. So maybe I would just remove that. It's gonna, the more you remove from the what you entered in, you're, the more results you're gonna pull up. So that, this looks kind of similar. It might just be a different picture. Uh, okay, so it is the same color, but if you look, kind of look at the base here of the table. So if you come over here, you can see the base is a lot different, even though it did have white chairs. So you really gotta pay attention to what you're looking at in order to determine whether or not you have the same exact item. So really, I'm just not seeing it, guys. So that would be an item that, again, you know, just kind of hit a dead end. Now, another way that you can search on Overstock, just like I showed you guys on Hay Needle, is you can come here to these categories up top here. And if you select any one of these, then uh, you can come in here and select any one of the items in here. So if I did like living room furniture, then it's gonna pull up a new window with a, a whole bunch of different results and then you can start searching out. So if I was gonna come in here, and let's just say select any one of these items, and this item is uh, pretty expensive, it looks like a really nice couch, definitely long enough for tall people. Anyways, I would go ahead and grab the title here. And again, I'm not gonna necessarily grab all the title, like I'm not gonna grab necessarily the brand name, I'm not gonna start there, but I'm just gonna copy what the item actually is. I'm gonna come over here to Amazon. I'm gonna paste it into the search bar here and I'm gonna hit enter and again it's not showing me so again I would just maybe take out some of the title and search again I'm not really seeing it and so oversized extra long so maybe come over here and just choose Knightsbridge beige linen oversized extra long Tevita Charles mod modular sofa so now I'm just selecting more of the title so you got to play around with it a little bit because sometimes it can be kind of sensitive so it, it's not showing any results but I'm kind of getting some of the same similar looking sofas right down here so I might come over here and just look at maybe seeing if I can find that. So this, this looks like it might be the couch that we just saw. Actually, if I come back here, I, I literally just saw it. It looks like this is it right here. So that's gonna pull it up into a brand new window. But if I select the option here, uh, single sofa, right? Because I what I'm looking at here is I saw this 
looks like a single sofa right here. So if I went to that on Amazon, then I might get the single sofa, which I'm assuming is just this sofa right here. That's $829.48. Nine. And if I come over here to Amazon, it looks like that same sofa. So let's look. Tribeca Home, Knightsbridge, Beige Lemon, uh, Linen, Tuffeted Scroll Arm, Chesterfield Sofa. Okay. So if I come back over here, Knightsbridge, Fabric, Beige, Fabric, Button, Tuffeted, Chesterfield, Sofa, and Room Set. So we didn't choose the set though. As you can see, we just chose the single sofa. And so if we look at these pictures of the single sofa, it's looking like the same exact sofa, doesn't it guys? So if, if it's the same exact sofa and it's looking like it is, it's got the same name, then what I would do is I'd come down, check the best seller rank. So it's uh, actually 3,547 in home and kitchen. So that definitely meets the criteria. So I can come here, 1,517. I'd come over here to the calculator, 1,517. Then I would come over here and we're looking at 829. So then I'd come plug that in here, 829. Click on a different box, and as you can see, a potential profit of $460, and uh, it's well over the 15% mark. It shows good. So then this would be an item that we then we could add to the sheet. That's how you sh search for items on Overstock through the search bar or these categories, and then you just start cross-referencing them on Amazon. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.